Consent proof is sometimes mandatory. Some jurisdictions require you to store consent expressed by your website visitors. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site and Consent Magic, and this is how Consent Magic deals with the consent proof part or issue. Uh, first of all, it's important to know that consent will be stored on your website. And because of this, we have uh, a few interesting features that allow you to control the size of the consent and um, give you the opportunity to export consent uh, as a file by email or directly on your website. And this can be done automatically as well. Uh, let me show you what I mean. This is uh, Consent Magic and uh, you have this link right here, Consent Proof. It will open this uh, page. To enable, enable Consent Proof storing, you simply need to uh, turn this on. And then you have uh, a few interesting options. You can say which type of uh, consent will be stored by default. We don't store consent for just inform, but you can um, enable this as well. Um, you can say for how long consent will be stored, number of days. Uh, and you have this very interesting feature that allows you to maintain the size of the um, consent table, uh, a decent size for this consent table, because again, this will be stored in your website. Uh, you can enable the plugin to automatically delete consent after a number of um, entries. The maximum uh, number is 5,000 because we, we don't want to uh, have a huge database. And to email the consent that was deleted um, to a particular address. So you add your uh, email here and the plugin will first email the consent as a file, see as uh, a text file, and then will delete the consent. So it's very easy and uh, useful. Now, you can also go here and uh, check the records. Of course, I, I have just a few entries, but you'll have many more. And you can see a few details, the, the type of consent, and you can click for more details and you'll see the, the page where the consent was expressed. If uh, it's associated to a user, you will see the email of the user and the link to the user profile, uh, the rule name and the, the consent type and the action that was um, um, performed by your visitor. So if, if it was a click on the button or a scroll, it depends. For example, this one was a disable all, this one allow all and so on. And uh, th this is um, the data that will be exported as well. Uh, and on this page you also can export consent and you will get a file or delete all consent. And in this case, the plugin will ask you if you want to download um, the, the file first. So you, you, you to avoid losing this um, consent data if you need it for legal reasons. So uh, that's, that's how it works. Uh, another thing, each rule has uh, the option to be excluded from consent. Uh, you just need to edit or when you create a new rule, you'll see the same thing. And you have this option right, he right here, exclude from consent storing. Once you turn it on, consent expressed for this particular rule will not be stored. So. Uh, you have all the settings that you need to configure consent to store it uh, for legal reasons or for other reasons, uh, maybe internal policy or something else. And uh, you have uh, a, new, a few nice features that will help you to keep the database under control. This is it. This is how it works. It's a new feature that uh, Constant Magic has and uh, I encourage you to, 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 to start using it.